Josh Mantle here from MMA Today News. Today I'm speaking with 4-0 amateur strawweight Kayla Haracho. How are you, Kayla? I'm good. Can't complain. I'm sitting outside in the sunny Florida weather. It's beautiful out here. Everything's great. And you're just about to start training, aren't you? So I'll be quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you recently fought at UCC Fantastic where you took home a decision win over Brenda Arias. Um, what was your game mm -hmm. plan going into that fight? Um, we didn't know too much about my opponent, um, which sometimes can be better. Um, but my game plan was really just to focus on my strengths. Um, you know, go out there and, and maintain good distance and just touch her up with my hands and, um, you know, take her down if I have to, or, yeah. you know, defend that takedown and just make sure that I'm scoring, scoring, scoring. And, uh, you know, I think we, we put on a good display. Were you happy with your performance? Yeah, I was really happy. Um, I'm not often satisfied with my performance. <laughs> uh, I'm probably my biggest critic. Um, but I was happy with it. Just have to, you know, get back in the gym and, and keep working on things so I can continue to improve. Did you expect more from that or were you, were you, you were quite happy with the decision, I'm guessing? Was I expecting more from the win? Yeah. Or? Yeah, the win, yeah. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I think I should have gotten the finish. Um, but, you know, that'll come with time. I, I try not to force it. You know, I just want to go out there and, and, and you know, work on things I've been working on and, and try to improve each fight. So, you know, I think those finishes will come with time and more experience. Are you looking to go professional anytime soon or are you going to continue to build your resume as an amateur fighter? Uh, I definitely want to turn pro sooner rather than later. I don't really have a time frame right now. Um, I go back to Panama at the end of January to compete in the finals of okay. the UCC Grand Prix. Yeah. So, you know, definitely at least one more amateur fight under my belt. Um, it kind of just depends on what opportunities present themselves. You know, if I, if I get a really good opportunity to turn pro, then I might not be able to pass it up. You know, but if I have some good opportunities to have a couple more fights as an amateur then, you know, we might go that route as well. So just kind of depends. For sure. Um, so you made your amateur debut uh, over five months ago. Was stepping in the cage for the first time how you expected it? <laughs> um, it was certainly, certainly different. Um, some people know this, but I started off as a boxer. Yeah. So I did have 11 fights as an amateur boxer. Um, so I was somewhat comfortable stepping in there. You know, yeah. confident in my skills and, and my ability to to perform and, and pull off the win. But, I mean, they're, they're two totally different sports, you know. So it was a little nerve-wracking, especially um, feeling at that cage and seeing how small it was. Mm -hmm. That was a little nerve-wracking. <laughs> but once I, got it, once I got in there and got my hands moving, you know, I felt, I felt good and I felt comfortable. Was it a smooth transition from boxing to MMA? Hmm, smooth. I guess it depends on what your definition of smooth is. I mean, so far I've had four amateur fights and I've won every one of them. So, you know, that that's pretty smooth, but yeah. you know, when it when it comes to <laughs> the daily grind in the gym, yeah. you know, it, it's tough. It, it's really tough. It's a tough transition because not only am I doing something completely new, but I'm doing it alongside of some of the best athletes and fighters in the world. Um, so it, it's been hard, but, you know, having, having those type of training partners is, I believe, what is allowing me to grow so quickly. Yeah. And who, so do, you great. who do you train with? Uh, I train at American Top Team headquarters okay. in Coconut Creek, Florida. Yeah. So some big names, of course. Yeah, for, for sure. I mean, we have some of the best straw weights in the world right in our gym so yeah. it's an honor you know a lot of girls that I look up to you know even before I, I made this transition to MMA some of my favorite fighters were here at American Top Team and now they're my training partners so it's really awesome and who, who, who are your favorite fighters um definitely Joanna um she just fought uh in the straw weight title bout of course didn't yeah. get the didn't get the win but she is literally one of the most inspiring fighters I've I've ever 
seen. Um, I've never seen someone grind the way that she does in the gym. Yeah. So I have a lot of respect for her. Um, Valerie Letourneau, um, Tisha Torres was at her gym, but she recently left. Uh, there, there's a lot, a lot of great ones. Nina Ansaroff, she's actually fighting this weekend. Amanda yeah. Nunez, the Bantamweight female champion. So um, I could go on and on. Oh, yeah, names. for sure. Um, where do you look to be in the next two years? <laughs> two years. Whew. It's a long time. That's tough. That's tough. Um, in two years, I hope to be competing at the highest level of MMA. So I hope to be signed to the UFC and and you know, cracking that top 10 and fighting some of the biggest names today. Yeah. And your That's goals. That's goal. What, yeah, I was going to say, what, <laughs> what goals do you have in the sport? But it's cool. Um, who would be your dream opponent? My dream opponent? Whew. Mm. That's tough. Um, out all the big ones. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of tough to say now. Like, yeah. I would say when I'm, when I'm uh, ready for the opportunity, like, my dream opponent is whoever has that straw weight title, you yeah, know, cause that's the ultimate goal. Um, but in two years or three years or who, you know, however long it takes for me to get there, who knows who will have it by then. <laughs> exactly. Obviously it's just so that, change hands. Yep. That's the goal. So yeah, that's all I've got for you. Um, good luck, uh, for your UCC finale too. Thank um, you so much. I appreciate that. And I, I wish you the best. Thank you for this. Great. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right.